I'm my agent. Yeah, <laughs> What's the line? It's like a morning show. I see. <laughs> Hello, I'm Randall Okita. And I'm Tony Elliott. And we are here to talk about filmmaking, storytelling, and the future of Canadian cinema. You've worked as a writer, you've worked as a director. Yeah. Uh, do you kind of love those things equally? Would you direct something you haven't written? Would you, yeah. um, you know, sell pieces of writing for other people to direct? I was an orphan black for the first two seasons, and then I moved to LA to work on a show there. And after that, art came along. I wasn't known as a director then. I didn't do my uh, too many features post post uh, film school, so I was mostly gaining momentum as a writer. Like to me, there's no, there's not a difference. It's an extension. Directing is an extension of storytelling. But you get that though, right? That, sure. Right. But have you ever given something away for somebody else to to direct and, and finish telling that story? Uh, I have not. Yeah. I would be open to it, but yeah. I can't. I can't give this stuff away, especially uh, early on. I feel like, you know, when you're trying to prove yourself and you're trying to prove um, the the level of sort of nuance or the specifics mm -hmm. of what you're trying to, to put out there, mm -hmm. it's uh, it's difficult to to let it go and give it to somebody else yeah. because, uh, you know, the value of our first works. Um, or the overvalue sometimes I think is is about you know can you get it quite right and if mm -hmm. somebody else is going to make the mistakes yeah. I you know for me it, for my first feature it was it was I want to win or lose based on on my decisions you know I want to yeah. learn if if I'm going to make mistakes I want to make them on my own and that's exactly right what do they say it's ten years to to make an overnight success that's pretty close yeah mine was nine and yeah. a half years well before I even got it from Black was ten years and then to get Arc off the ground was wow. eight. Eight years. And is it true yes. that um, um, at Orphan Black they read the script? Was that was that, that what got, got you me the, the job. room? Wow. That got me the job. Feature script got you the arc. television. Yes. Gig. The feature skip script arc got me the job on Orphan Black. In yeah. addition to my interview, obviously. Yeah. You know? And then, may, arguably, Orphan Black got you the feature job. Not arguable. That's exactly right. Wow. That really helped. Yes. I love it. Yeah. It's crazy how that works. Eh? So. so, Lock Picker. Mm -hmm. That was your first feature. What was your experience on that? Um, oh, it was, um, it was kind of pure joy. Yeah. You know, we said to ourselves, let's try to do, this would be our ideal process. Yeah. This is, if, if, I, if we had all the money in the world, mm -hmm. this is how many days I would shoot for. Right. And then we just okay. tried to sort of make it work. We ended up shooting for, for a, a generous amount of time and partnering with a, with a high school and involving students behind the camera, in front of the camera, and working particularly with you know inexperienced performers, just allowing them some time to sort of mm -hmm. find their feet and let it be a little bit more natural, uh, and just learn for ourselves yeah. as a crew, as a filmmaker. What it comes down to, I guess, is just really caring about what's happening to the people on the screen. Yeah, I feel like your job is just to care mm -hmm. more than anybody yeah. else, you know, as the writer, as the director. And if I can infuse that with my own experience, then hopefully that will Mm -hmm. become something that is of value to other people. I guess my f first professional short film, Entangled, which premiered at TIFF in 2014, mm -hmm. that was funded by Bravo. They gave me $50,000 to make a, a short film. Who does that? You don't get, in the States, it's very difficult for to have that that access. That's really about cultural um, cultural investment. It's true. We're very lucky here. There, there, there are a lot of opportunities. And I think the key there is, yeah, are we, are we, making cultural investments or are we starting businesses? Mm -hmm. You know, at certain points in, you know, filmmakers' careers, is this, you know, are we trying to make an investment in a startup company mm -hmm. that, is, that, is, that is this filmmaker and we want our money back right away? Mm -hmm. Or are we investing in culture? And I just, yeah. I mean, I, I think those things are, are healthily connected. Yeah. The Canadian model, you know, I feel much more supportive in, in a cultural avenue, you mm -hmm. know, but, you know, much more um, difficult to to get that funding because mm -hmm. of, of the you know many great talents who are all vying for the same amount. Whereas in the States, you know, they, they don't even have that kind of support. Mm -hmm. You know, it's much more business oriented. For my feature, I only premiered a TIFF and then one week after that we premiered on Netflix. You know, it's a little it's a low budget Canadian film. It was funded by the US, but it's a Toronto movie. Sure. Cast, myself, script, mm -hmm. crew, everything was Toronto. It's a Toronto mm -hmm. movie. I'm very proud of that. So I was it's just nice to know people around the world are watching your, your work. Like how, yeah. that's what we all want, right? That's Absolutely. it. That's what we want. Yeah, it always bothers me when, um, when, when we do talk about the, the movies, you know, on the news or when they get, you know, it's the first thing that comes up is box office. 
And I just think that's a bit backwards. Again, I'm not saying that that we shouldn't be making money with the work that we're putting out there. And that's, that's the barometer the, of success. But yeah, the, when you start with box office and there's no conversation around, you know, what resonated with you, what was the film that changed mm -hmm. your life? We should talk more about the value of the things that we're making. Um, not that they shouldn't be profitable, mm -hmm. but yeah. just, just to keep that sort of in mind. Mm -hmm.